Hello everyone, this is One Super Gamer, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we went back into Kamoshida's palace, and things got cut short, unfortunately, because On entered the palace. But it's not all too bad. She gained a persona and joined the team. In this episode, we are going to be preparing ourselves for the fight against Kamoshida to steal his treasure. But first, let's talk to Morgana. I'm all for teaching you how to make infiltration tools, but you really need to clean your room first. Interesting. Hey, Morgana. I want to go downstairs. Let's turn in for the you night. must be tired from the metaverse. Let's just go to sleep. <laughs> of course. Okay, so here's the thing about Morgana. Morgana is going to be living with us now. And Morgana has... Uh, three positions on this table. One position is standing up, one is sitting down, and one is uh, laying down. So if he's standing up, he's willing to go outside. If he's sitting down, he's willing to stay in LeBlanc, but nowhere further from there. And if he's laying down, he straight up wants you to go to sleep. There's actually a ton of memes about Morgana, about how he always pestures joker to go to sleep it, it, the memes were so abundant that it even got to the point where morgana's own voice actor cassandra lee morris had morgana himself read go the fuck to sleep if you want to watch that video it's freaking great uh link is in the description but for now let's follow what morgana says and let's go to bed well then i feel a strange weight pressing down on my body is this the stress of Kamashita's threat weighing on me? Also, if you notice that the audio is different, I am recording this uh, after. I, I am recording this after I edited the first five episodes, and I noticed that the music, especially in the bat battles, kind of overshadowed my voice, so I kind of went in and fixed the audio this time around. It may be crowded, but it looks like you can still grab a seat if you're lucky. Hmm. While we're riding the train, we've got some downtime. I wonder if we could put it to good use. Oh, good English, Kagan. What's wrong? You don't look so good. I haven't been feeling well lately. My head's all foggy and I have no energy. I tried every drug at the pharmacy, but nothing works. Do I have some new virus? Well, that's not good. Is this the onset of a psychotic breakdown? W what should I do? Am I going to die? Calm down, calm down. Let's go to the clinic. Come on. I'm sure the doctor can prescribe something that'll fix you right up. I see. Doctors have the best medicine, huh? Hey, wasn't that one customer back at LeBlanc a doctor? Do you have a cold? No. I just thought it would be, be nice to have some strong medicine to use in the palace. Morning. Yo, morning, Ren. What are you doing here? Let's head to school together. I mean, it's right there, but whatever. <laughs> oh, Ryuji. Hey, we're meeting up at the hideout after school, right? Don't text now. We're in class. Whoa, you mean you're actually listening to all this crap? Yeah, but none of it's really sticking to get today. I know, right? Anyway, hideout after school. Where exactly is this hideout? The school roof. Wait, we can still go up there? Yeah, I'll let you in. Well, I'll be waiting. Just come on up once school's over. I'll consider it. I ain't taking over an answer. You gotta come. <laughs> hey, are you hey Amamiya. You, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel a murderous attempt. Ouch. Oh, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> he hit him right up in the forehead. Pay attention. That's what you get for daydreaming. Kids these days have no respect for their elders. <sighs> Good grief. Looks like you need more proficiency to completely dodge that. Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? 
Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. You talking about weapons? Oh, I know a kick-ass place. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, he and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Are we going home? Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. Can I talk? Hey, remember that customer you met at LeBlanc yesterday? The doctor who prescribes medication after a quick examination? She was sitting at the booth. Yeah, I remember. Actually... I just realized something. If she's the kind of doctor who gets sketchy rumors like that, maybe she'll help us out. Hey. She's somewhere in the neighborhood, right? Take me to her. Alright, let's do that. Uh, the clinic's office is over here. It's the uh, heart with the cross in the map. This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? We'll make something up. Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. All right, let's step inside. Well, is this your first visit? Hmm, I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. At LeBlanc. Hmm, well, whatever. So, what are you in? What are you here for today? I have a chronic disease. Fine. Please head to the exam room. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? Whichever. How about a stinky one then? Just kidding, there's no such pill. All right, why don't we stop beating around the bush? You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? That's right. You're one of those patients with an ulterior motive, huh? What's the world coming to? I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, stop by any time. You're a bad doctor. I just believe in providing my patients with quick and easy medical examinations. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. That's is all I got right okay, now. Okay, which one? Okay, so this is the item shop. Yeah, a clinic of all places. Really strange, huh? Well, she has a few healing items for them, and <clears throat> uh, if you uh, would kindly look to the bottom right, I have 105,636 yen. I should have 5,636, but uh, I forgot that the DLCs also comes with a free 100,000 yen. So, little Jimmy in the comments section may be calling me out saying I'm cheating, but... I like to call it allocating my resources. So shut the hell up, Jimmy. I'm gonna use them. So, what I'm 
So, I'm honestly not going to buy much. I honestly don't rely too much on items in this game because I normally don't get hurt too often. So, work. I'm going to get like two Recover R100 MGs, which uh, restore 100 HP to one yeah. ally. But what I am going to get is these. I'm going to I'm gonna get some uh, status effects. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get some status effects uh, recovery items because... Go. As I said, because in this game, status effects are very important, and as a result, you don't want to be hit by them. And I'm also going to get two Revivadrins, just in case anything goes wrong, because I'm... Because items are going to be my only way to revive for a very long time. I'll only get two. I don't think I'll ever be in a situation this early in the game where I'm going to need to revive more than two people in one infiltration, so... Yeah, I think we should be good here. Take care. Then good luck with that. What's the reason for your visit? Do you have a cold, stomach ache, athlete's foot? Whatever it is, you'll need to take a number. Enough of this! You're the only one who could have developed that type of medicine. <sighs> I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Rumor has it it's a drug so potent it can give a person unlimited power. Really? That's news to me. Developing experimental drugs, medicine, and herbal remedies violates all health regulations. Are you attempting to create a super stimulant? A drug like that will only become a social issue. You're really persistent, you know that? I'm just a quack. The police may not be taking action, but I imagine the media will soon pick up on it. You intend to ruin the reputation again, huh? You're a disgrace to the medical community. <sighs> What's with that look? That was your mistake, was it not? I won't be responsible for your criminal actions. Dispose of that medicine immediately and resign. The name Tate Takemi will never... Hey, is somebody there? Man. Jeez, they almost caught us. Sounds like they were talking about something dangerous. Could that woman be hiding some extra strong medicine? We should use that. Yes. I agree. If it's that strong, it might come in handy at the palace. Alright, let's come back when that man isn't there. We shouldn't involve people who have nothing to do with this. Keep the Phantom Thieves a secret, okay? Okay. Anyway, great work. That went really well. So, you know that store I mentioned with the model guns? Is it Shibuya? I can go with you if you want. Can't you do it alone? Oh, right! You just transferred here, huh? Let's go together, dude. I'll show you around. You at least know how to get to Shibuya Station, yeah? Hey, I can't make it. Can I trust you guys to check the place out for me? You can't come? Not tomorrow. I made plans to see Shiho at the hospital. Ah, gotcha. Don't worry. We got this. We'll see you in Shibuya, Ren. I'll be in front of the station. We might be able to get our hands on some decent stuff if this store really has model guns. Well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Okay. It's going smoothly so far. Once we're prepared, let's take on the palace. That's where the real fun starts. Got it? Alright. Okay. You're meeting up with Ryuji tomorrow, so don't oversleep. Looks like you made it. The shop's on Central Street, so we gotta go through the crossing to get there. The crossing? That's what we call the Shibuya Crossing. It's this huge intersection with people crossing the street from every direction. Once we get past that, we'll pretty much be at Central Street. Let's go. All right, let's get going. Ah, uh, Ryuji. Ryuji, uh, Ryuji reminds me of this uh, certain friend I have. Everyone, wake up. This country is twisted. While Japanese society may appear to be thriving, many young people have not been as blessed as their elders. They have no jobs, no savings, no financial security whatsoever. These young people should be tackling their futures head on, but instead, they're too busy merely trying to survive. People give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. 
Ryu, anyway, I was a little bit distracted there. But Ryuji reminds me of a certain friend of mine. Always fun loving. Put puts everything into what what he knows. And dude has a heart of gold. The shop can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. Alright, let's and also, a uh, side note, I know I haven't been talking a lot, and this opening... Hey! Hey, it's this way. Uh, this opening is kind of slow, but don't worry, it does get more interesting. And honestly, we're near the end of this really slow opening. I know the opening is slow, everyone knows it. It's just, we, we have to get through the growing pains. This game is fun, I, I promise, just give it a minute. This is it, pretty legit, huh? This place looks sketchy, right? To be honest, it's a bit scary to go in alone. Anyway, let's check on what's inside. Yeah, but that that friend that Ryuji reminds me of, he, he reminds me of the fact that he always means well, but you know, has a short temper at times, but deep down, he's a great friend of mine. And I always respect him for that. I'm sure the guy, I'm sure the friend I'm talking about is watching this video and kind of blushing a little bit. It's okay. I see you, you know. Anyway, let's go inside. Oh yeah, uh, before we head in, you know anything about guns and shit? I guess we can just ask the guy behind the counter if we can't figure out what we want. Come on, let's do this. You know what you want yet? You looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh, some customer service. Fine, what do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Uh, automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? Listen, this year's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. Ah, can't remember you. You bastard. And you, looking for something? A fancy model gun. Oh, you a collector? <laughs> You're way more interested than Blondie over there. Oh, shut it! Anyways, you should have said before you two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here. We'll be careful. Promise. You damn well better be. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel... different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. If you got the guts for it, of course. But, for now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight. I'll bring him out. <laughs> we did it, dude. We totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? Oh, I want him to shine. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. You can purchase model guns, range weapons, melee weapons, protectors, and accessories at the airshop stop. Melee weapons will increase the power of your normal attacks, which may be useful for those who want to defeat enemies without using skills. Range weapons increase the power of your gun attacks. This will increase more damage than melee weapons, so they, will, they may be more useful against tough enemies. Protectors decrease the damage you take, vital to lasting longer in battle. Accessories have a variety of effects, such as providing skills and protection against status ailments. EY's shop, the air shop, shop shop, is very complicated. He sells a lot of things, and all of them super important. Uh, but probably the okay. most important. Sounds good. We need a good protector 
for Joker. Mm, that one. You better not use Remember when I range. said in the first episode that if Joker dies, the game is over? Yeah, that applies the entire game. So what you need more than anything right, is one? good defense on Joker. Now pay attention to the stats here. Defense is up, but evasion goes down. So, so if you want Ryuji to be more dodgy than tanky, then you can. Then you probably don't want to give him the shoulder pads. But the thing about that is, evasion is not extremely important in Persona Five. It definitely helps when it comes up, but it's not the most important stat in the world. So I'm just That's gonna choosing. buy protection. Okay. Why, why pass up something that will make someone more tankier when I, when, uh, why pass on that to get a better chance of dodging an attack that if it hits, it will Sounds hurt good. way more. Morgana also has some special stuff. Like, look at this. He, he, he has a uh, gear, uh, hmm. That one you need to him. use it to pull a prank. There are actually two types of gear. There's men's gear and women's gear. But Morgana's unique. He has a uh, cat gear, so he has armor only unique to him. Alright, which one? And on is since she's a woman, choosing, obviously. It, okay. Uh she also has gear that's unique to her, so. So next is should I buy a melee weapon or a ranged weapon? Well, actually, I want to check All your right. accessories first. Sounds good. So, shield goggles. Resist dizzy. Resist for... Eh. I know I said earlier that status are important, but I'll probably buy the accessories last. Because in this palace, there's really not a lot of status effects that could be affected in this palace. So, you don't really need to worry about that too much at this moment. Okay. So, I think what's more important is All game right, melee one. So I'm going to give Joker the Kukri, which will increase his attack. To pull a prank. And the silver da dagger sold for 1,200, so that's pretty damn good. Um, that's what yep. you should don't break it, okay? I'm, I'm going to buy as much as I can. If I'm going to cheat with this 100,000 right, yen, one? then why, why the hell not? Hmm, that would like Especially... It. With uh, Morgana, he needs to raise his accuracy up. Him missing during those first few palace in infiltrations really scares me. That's what you're. You better not use it to pull a prank. All right, All right. now let's. All right, which one? So guns. Accuracy matters more, I guess. But Ooh, that one's gonna break I'm gonna buy them because I have the money. That's what you're choosing. How's that? Oh yeah, uh, that's unique about guns. Um, one unique thing about guns is that you can't sell those. So no matter what, what you, you like it? can't make money back from a gun. So that's kind of the down one of the downsides of guns. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I really don't need these because it status right, is which not one? important. I mean, it is as I said before, but it's not important this early in the game. All right. Yeah, I don't have any. Ooh, I do have some cell blocks. I'm gonna sell this. You should be grateful. And nothing equipped will ever fine. show up in the uh, in the uh, protectors list, so you you don't you don't have to worry about um you you don't have to worry about uh anything equipped being on the cell um screen. But I think that should be it. I'm still making out with a mighty 52,000 yen that I should not have, but whatever. Uh, come again. Oh yeah, there's something you should know. I don't buy off any model gun from other people, so keep that in mind. I don't want to deal with any problems buying something that's already been modified. Later. And that's all I got to say. And that's it. So let's leave. Mm -hmm. you going home already? All right, I'll have you do to choose them from now on. Give me the strongest looking one. <laughs> Already done, Ryuji. Boss, did you hear? Apparently that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. 
Only an idiot would believe a preposterous story like that. Oh, sorry, but we're closing soon. <laughs> How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. <laughs> I'm only trying to help you fix your business. Thanks for the coffee, at least. Jeez, what a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. Why are you still open? Shut it. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. Is that a motto of yours? No, nothing like that. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it. But I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. So, I went to see Shiho in the hospital. How was she? Her condition is stable. They don't know when she'll regain consciousness, though. That's scary. Yeah. She'll get better, I know it. I just need to believe in her. But I'll never forgive Kamoshida. He's going to pay for what he did, no matter what. We're just about ready to go to the palace. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. That desk, hurry now and clean it up. Let's clean this up. Great. Now you can make things whenever you want. Now you can create infiltration tools at this work desk. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lock pick. With the necessary materials, you can make various infiltration tools. They will be quite useful during palace exploration. Make sure to bring some along. Making tools will cause time to pass, but it will improve your proficiency as well. Each time this ranks up, you can make one additional tool. During bad weather, your focus will allow you to make an additional tool. Check out all the shops to track down various crafting materials. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. Alright, so let's make a lockpick. So, I have ten of these thanks to the DLC, but eh, what, what's another one, right? So, uh, infiltration tools are very important. Let's ignore what we, let's ignore the lock pit for now. Let's see what else we can make. So, this is a Goho M, which, if used, it will allow us to escape from a palace at any time. So, very useful if the palace security level is too high or you're out of SP in a very awkward situation. Smoke screen, if... I'm right. If an enemy finds you, you can use this to get away without raising the security level. I'm going to press X. Survey says... Yep. I was half right. Uh, lockpick. Uh, there will be... If there's a lock chest, you can unlock it with the lockpick. Common aroma. I believe this lowers the palace security level. Yes, it does. But for now... Oh, wait. There's some more. Uh... For battle, we can make a Vanish Ball, which this guarantees escape from battle. Not all battles apply. Eh, kind of important, but there's rarely any battles that you honestly need to run from. Uh, spotlight, which uh, raises the chance of being targeted by foes for one ally. Oh, that, that might be good for if, like, there's a huge attack coming and you want Ryuji to get hit instead of Joker, so... And we have a Molotov Cocktail, which is a weak fire attack. Free Spray, which is uh, Ice. Stun Gun, which is Lightning. Air Cannon, which is uh, Wind. And yeah, that's it. Now let's make the lockpick. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well at first, okay? Infiltration tools are also tied to what your proficiency level is. If the higher your proficiency level, uh, the more tools you can make. Great. We should be able to use this. Yeah. 
And as mentioned earlier, it's uh, it can raise your proficiency. This is actually a pretty decent early way to get proficiency because it can give you items and proficiency. So it's not a bad way to get it. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. Good morning. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please? There's something I'd like to ask you. It won't take long. I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes. He lent me a helping hand earlier. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh! The delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going, too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Please excuse us. <sighs> After you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamushida? Why do you ask? Well, there was that little exchange just now, but that's not all. He gave me a brief lecture this morning, and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. I don't mean to pry, but just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office? You didn't make a pass at her, did you? Of course not. All right. Mr. Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go. So I saw Kamoshida at the school gate this morning. He was just standing there looking at me with the shit-eating grin on his face. Ugh, that's annoying. He was probably mocking you. Honestly, seeing that got me even more fired up about this. We're definitely gonna pull this off. Yeah, I'm worried about Shiho, but I want to concentrate on our operation, too. And I won't let myself get exhausted like last time. The board meeting's May 2nd, right? We just gotta take care of him before then. I'm ready for this. Same goes for me. Me too. I'll do my best. No going in without me, okay? Yeah, you better let us know if you're going into the palace. got in trouble on the first day of school. Those guys are getting expelled. Nobody wants a troublemaker in school. Everyone's got high hopes for the new girl, Yoshizawa-chan. Damn, she's fine. I wonder if I have a shot with her. Okay. It's finally time to set the plan in motion. I bet the others are ready to go and waiting on the single. A signal, fudge. You, can, you guys can tell it's kind of late tonight. Well, I'll leave the plan into you. If you cannot execute the plan by the deadline, then it's game over. Keep vigilant and aware of the time remaining. Palaces contain many strong enemies. Consult with your allies and make use of the various facilities in the city to ensure a successful infiltration. When you have some free time and don't know what to do, press uh, select to open the assist command to view what you can do and who you can see. 
If network functions are on, you can use the D-pad to view the activity log. This will enable you to see what other players did on, the, on this day in the calendar. This, the activity log is a support tool that can assist you during your free time. If you would like to know more about it, check the corresponding tutorial. So, it's talking about really? this menu. Yes, thank you, game. Uh, it is talking about this menu here. So, you can do many things through it. Uh, if you press A, you can see what... You can see anything nearby that can raise your social stats, which is really good for a first-time playthrough of the game. If you press Y, you can see any available confidants nearby, which it seems to be the language doctor at, back at the clinic. Also very helpful. Uh, if you press on the D-pad, you can see what everyone else online did on this day. It seems that 54% went to the palace, while 40% went spent time with Takemi. Very interesting. But there's one more thing I want to add. There's one more way to see which confidants you have. If you open up your full map, the game kind of beat me to it. You can see your confidants here, and if you press X, you can see what where specifically they are. If you don't know where specifically they are, well, the clinic's not here, right? So I can't show this off, but Joker will have a voice line on the bottom, you know, where it says, should I explore around? He'll say, who do I want to spend my time with? That means there's a confidant there. But for now, if we press X, we go to the hideout, which is what we'll do. I hope you all understand that our time limit is May 2nd. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kanoshida, right? But wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble. I think. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamoshida's treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. But if I had to guess, I'd say he has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. Uh, I think I get it now. We just gotta find the treasure, yeah? Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. Check your progress with a hold meeting option. Listen to your friends' opinions and decide the best course of action. Select the Infiltrate Palace will take you to the palace. You cannot purchase items while in the palace, so make sure you're well prepared. It will be nighttime when you return from the palace. If time runs out, it's game over. Keep an eye on the time remaining. So we have 14 days to complete this palace. Not a whole lot of time, admittedly, but it this palace is honestly really short. I'd say realistically, you can do this palace at most in three days. Typically... It takes two days for a first time playthrough and uh, hell, I could even do it in one day if uh, I'm lucky enough with the enemy placement. But I think realistically I might be doing this in two days, which again is plenty of time. That gives me 12 extra days. So let's hold, let's have that hold meeting and see what our team thinks. You have to make them pay. There's no way I'll ever forgive Kamashita. I must have been Shiho. Wait, ain't the board meeting on May 2nd? We're not going to get expelled immediately, you know. Let's try being a bit more careful. Let's start our strategy. Now, better course or action from here forward. I know we want to steal his heart, but we have no idea where it actually is. I guess we'll have to explore some more until we manage to find it. What do we want to do about the shadows? It'll be real bad if any of them caught us. Think we should try avoiding them for now or something? We're not having much trouble fighting, so you probably don't even need to worry about that. Okay, meeting again. I should about sum it things up for the time being. So they gave a they gave a few ideas of what to do. Uh, you could Ryuji said to relax, and the time limit is far away, and that is true. Uh, pre preferably me, I really like doing the palaces as soon as possible. So you won't see that too much from me, but uh, Ryuji. But there's nothing wrong with being careful. 
you you can take your time. Just make sure you never get lost track of time because it truly is over if you do not change the heart by the time limits. Anyway, let's infiltrate the palace. Okay, let's go. But damn. Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Uh, I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you too. A code name? I'm Skull. He's Joker, and that's Mona. Judging by your costume. I mean, she's got that tail and stuff. So, what do you think? Sexy cat. Wait, is that what you're going to call me from now on? I am so not down with this. What do you want to be called then? Um, something better than just a little cat. Maybe... Panther? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? Why? Cause it sounds more... ferocious? She's a cougar. Don't call me that! More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. Let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. My master would like a word with you. The prisoner has returned. Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. What's that mean? <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter allies who share your ideals and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Aid? Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist within you. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. By discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call that process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. To start, select the first persona you wish to fuse. Okay, this is the main point of the Velvet Room. Persona fusion. So... One thing about Joker is all of his personas are actually very weak compared to his teammates. However, he can make them stronger through Persona Fusion, which is what we will be doing now. So, I'm going to be taking Arsene. But wait a minute, Arsene is our starting persona. Isn't he going to play a major role? Yeah, Arsene is actually one of the weakest, weakest personas in the game. People actually do have an attachment to Arsene and and you can actually build Arsene to be strong but me normally I don't like playing Ar uh I don't like using the velvet room in that way so Arsene you gotta go now before you select the second persona allow me to tell you something greatly important do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants personas are the power of the heart 
The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. In other words, the effects of your bonds on execution, or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain great power. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. Moreover, there is one thing I must warn you about. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. This is because the resulting persona would be too powerful for you to handle effectively. Now then, check the fusion results and choose a persona that suits your stature. Okay. Igor just said complete nonsense, especially to a first-time Persona player, like I was when I played this game for the first time. What Igor meant to say was, there is one added benefit to your confidants. The higher your confidant rate, uh, your confidant rank is with someone, you can actually increase the amount of experience that a Persona gets after it gets fused. So, take... Like Agathon, Ag Agathion here, for example. He is part of the Chariot Arcana. And if you remember, we do have a Chariot Confidant. That is Ryuji. However, we can also make a Mandrake, who is part of the Death, uh, the death uh, Arcana. Now, we actually don't know who the Death Arcana is yet. So, if we try to make a Mandrake, we won't nearly be getting as much of an experience boost. Hell, we won't be getting an experience boost at, boost at all because we have no idea who the Death Confidant is. So, it's actually a better choice to choose Agathon because we will actually get a experience boost from this. So, Agathon will be the first persona I make. This is the form your new persona is expected to take after fusion. It's possible for them to inherit skills they normally wouldn't gain. These skills and specialties are distinct from one another. Skills are traits that can be passed along through fusion. That was a little bit more English. Basically, he's saying the new persona can learn moves that the old personas do. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. So, so you have many choices here. here for me personally, I'm actually going to choose uh, Aha because that is a skill unique to Arsene and we're really not going to get a persona with a curse skill, at least naturally, for a very, very, very long time. So Aha is Will actually a good choice. Power? I wonder. My, my. you who exists within. Though I may disappear this moment, I shall always be at your side. We shall meet again when your fate reaches its conclusion. Me, Agathon. I'm gonna be your new mask now. Use me! Use me! Use me! Behold, the Chariot Confidant is awakening your persona's hidden power. So, yeah, the persona leveled up just because we were at rank 1 with Ryuji. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. What do you mean? Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many 
Execute them and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. I feel a deepened connection with Igor. We ranked up the fool to level 2, and we get third eye. See things normally invisible to the naked eye by pressing LT. A very helpful skill. We'll be going into why this is important later. Later. Right. I cannot speak today. I clearly should not have played. I'm sorry. Dad, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> You can now use the Confidant ability, Third Eye. Activating Third Eye in both the real world and in the metaverse will help you see things normally hidden. Use Third Eye to reveal various hints. That is a thief's skill, allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. Yeah, the Velvet Room is actually very complicated. There are many times where I would spend hours in the Velvet Room. Obviously, in this playthrough, I'm not going to be showing every single nitty-gritty detail of the Velvet Room. What I will be doing, however, is showing a summary of all the personas I have made in the Velvet Room so you can catch up. But I'm not going to be spending a lot of recorded time here just because, I, again, I can be here for hours if I wanted to. So, just to save you guys the time and me uh, the lower edit episode number at the end of this series, I'm not going to be dedicating... A whole lot of time recorded to the velvet room i will be doing a lot of stuff off sp off screen but do not worry i will put in a little compilation of what i made so you don't feel out of the loop when i make something new in the velvet room but for now i can't really make well i can make a new persona i think but whatever it is i do want to keep at least two personas on me for variety's sake so i'm gonna move on for now no slacking off Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. To my teammates, it looked like I wasn't moving. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker. So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. It's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Safe room? It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out. You can quick. You can now quick travel. Bring up the map with RB and select a previously visited safe room to go there instantly. You can also quick travel from the safe room back to the palace entrance. Quick travel can only be used in those two locations. You can receive aid from the allies via the. Thieves Guild. This is available when infiltrating the metaverse while connected online. You can only request help a limited number of times, as the Thieves Guild will be able to help you out of a variety of desperate situations. It's asking like it's more limited than it is. It's three times, and I doubt you're going to get in this situation three times. There are no downsides to receiving aid, so be sure to use it proactively if you find yourself in trouble. Alright, let's press RB and go to West Building the first floor it's where we left off last time oh huh what's up with this place it's a gap in the cognition a safe room if you will yeah still not getting it right no. uh, I'm buzzing on the details but I think it's some kind of spot where shadows can't find us 
Huh, I didn't think a place like that existed in here. So what do we do in this safe room? Take a break, duh. Oh, and we could talk about stuff too. So this place is for resting up and plotting. Got it. I guess I'll rest up a bit too then. Let me know when you're ready to head out, Joker. In safe rooms, you will be able to consult with your team members at the center table. By choosing to talk, you will be able to chat through your, with your team members about the progress through the palace, as well as check on your party. Oh. Alright, the safe room discussion reminds me. This is for you. Stamina Kid S. You can use it, only use it in safe places, but when you do, I'll take care of all the exhaustion from our past fights. We'll make you decide when to use it. Just make sure the time's right. Some items, such as healing IV, can only be used in safe rooms. You can use these items after you enter a safe room and select consult. The areas where you can use these items are limited. Yeah, no shit, game. You just said we can only use them in safe rooms. However, they will greatly heal your party, so use them in emergency situations. Well, I lied. There's one more area you can use it in, but it's not important for now. What are you going to do, Joker? Let's talk to the team. Let's see what everyone thinks. What do you want to talk about? How's our progress? Hey, hey you think treasure's far? Didn't we just get in here? Based on how the castle looks, we still have a long way to go. This is amazing. Still can't believe a phone app took us somewhere like this. We're not all... Well, not all of us need that app, you know. The cat can come in on his own. What? I am not a cat! So, wait. What's the deal with those soldier things that are serving Kamashita? They transfer them into weird monsters whenever we fight them. Hmm. Huh? Oh, you must be talking about the shadows. What are shadows? Yeah, I've been wondering about those guard dudes, too. What's their deal? Mm. I can explain it, but it'll be complicated. Do you want to hear? It would be good to know. Listen up. Deep in the innermost depth of every human heart lies their true personality, their shadow. So, it's not that the guards are transforming into, up into those things. Those are their actual forms. The reason they look like gods and other mythical beings is because they spawn from the human psyche, and also that this is a spin-off of Shin Megami Tensei, but this game can't break the fourth wall. Oh. Whoa! But wait, what are they doing in Kamashita's castle to begin with? Hmm. It seems like the distortion of the palace draws them in. Once they're, they're here, their form change and they become underlings for their palace ruler. When you think about it, the palace ruler is just the shadow of whoever owns the place. Maybe these palace, these places have something to do with the worlds in our minds, or the collective unconscious. Whoa. Oh, okay. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Uh. I had a feeling you'd say that. Well, you don't need to think too hard about it. They're enemies, so don't let your guard down, okay? What are your thoughts? Is there anything else you want to discuss? Uh, let's talk to the team. How is everyone? I'm on board. I can totally keep going. Looks like everyone else is good too. Everyone seems energetic. I think we can keep exploring if you're feeling up to it. What are your thoughts? Is there anything you want to discuss? Nope, that's it. Let's go. So, um, that cutscene about Morgana explaining what shadows are, I was not expecting that. I shit you not, I played this game like nine or ten times and I've never seen him talk about that. So, I swear, I learn something new about this game every time I play. So it looks like On has something to say. What does she, what does she want? Aww. Honestly, I still can't believe this is actually a classroom. Th that's it? Okay, great insight, On. Well, we're in the palace, ready to infiltrate. And we shall. We're gonna finally steal that treasure. On the next episode. Yeah, sorry to fool you, but this was mainly a preparation episode. Hey, I didn't lie. I said that's what it was gonna be at the very beginning. So, sorry, but don't worry. The next episode, the interesting stuff will happen. So next time on Persona 5 Royal, we're going to infiltrate this palace and finally have some F-U-N. This is One Stupid Gamer, signing out.